Take a deep breath. I know just how scary change can be, but change, realistically, is one of the only constants in life. Things just can't stay the same forever, and they never will. We correlate the idea of change with loss, which is literally what it is. You are losing an old way of yourself. Especially with change that is not in our control, it can just feel so unfair and like the world has it against us. You know, there's times I wish my best friend was here, or just upcoming this fall, I'm moving away from my family and friends for college. And as much as I can lie about it, I still am kind of worried. But the only choice we have is to embrace the idea of change because, because that is what we are. We are the definition of change as we are growing every single day. I'm sorry, and I know life isn't fair at all times, but you can't really have the good without the bad. The lows are what shape you and what make the highs high. I also want to say that change is not always bad. Change invites so many new opportunities and can help free you from monotony. You have the freedom to change almost everything about your life. I know there are exceptions like having obligations with family or whatnot, but in a little bit smaller senses, you can change anything about yourself. It just takes work. I also want to remind you guys that your thoughts are not you. You are basically just how you react to those. And I want to kind of lay this out so you guys can grasp the basic idea. Your thoughts are at most points, you know, set in a pattern or kind of random. And they really can either be negative, positive, or in the gray area in between. But you have the full capability and power to change these thoughts literally at any time. You just need to be more conscious of your thoughts and catch yourself and try to shift to a little bit more positive. You know, for example, if your friend made a minute mistake, you wouldn't call them a failure or stupid. Well, maybe not to an acquaintance. In the same sense, it's not a very healthy way of thinking about yourself. Being conscious of your thoughts is the first step and allows you to be in control of the few things you really can, how you react to things and how you act. I just wanted to make a short video relating to my worries today and if you guys did make it to this far in the video, thank you guys so, so much and I hope you guys have a great day.